use either a dowel or we use no dowel. So we're gonna drive the arms and the thoracic spine right here up overhead, which gives us extension. I want your nose, your eyes, and your head to look down to give us flexion. Look down to give us flexion. We'll switch legs and we're getting the motion. So eyes up and pointed ahead and then looking down. This is very similar to the 3D pendulum swing matrix. It is the 3D pendulum swing matrix uh, with the 3D pivot lunges. What I like to do then, I'll, with my eyes pointed straight ahead, like they're level on a tabletop, arms are gonna reach overhead and to the right. So what that does, it, the mid back but leans to the right and your head, cervical spine, leans to the left so we get left side bend and then we can do the same thing on the opposite side for those of you with let's say a little shoulder pathology that we want to uh, be cautious of and kind of bypass then so what we can have right here is we can go down below so lunge into your right leg or step into your right leg arms will swing up and kind of up to kind of the shoulders right here. So you're getting some left lean. Keep your eyes pointed forward so you get right, right side bend of the cervical spine. The same thing here. You're actually getting right side bend of the uh, thoracic spine to get left side bend of the neck. Transverse plane. Right palm up, left palm down. Lunge out 135 degrees with the left leg. Point your head pointed forward so thoracic spine is rotating left nose and eyes pointed head to give uh, a head to give us right rotation of the cervical spine it's thoracic spine rotates right head nose and eyes are forward giving us left rotation of the cervical spine even though we didn't uh, actively